Good morning, Lionhearts. It's actually the evening for me. If you remembered in yesterday's vlog, right about the time we were at Trejo's Tacos eating, I got a call from Sam Tripoli telling me that he was basically uh, booking out both rooms at the Ice House tonight. He was throwing two big shows there and asked if I could come and shoot the night. Basically shoot people coming in, show, just capture a video of some of the ambiance. And uh, it just so happened that this week I had really been uh, kind of high on this place and wanted to go vlog it anyway. And I have this shirt. This is an old Ice House shirt because this place, um, it's been around forever. It's one of comedy's oldest nightclubs in Los Angeles, even though it's in Pasadena. And I found this at a thrift store a few years ago for a dollar. And I've always thought, well, you know, I should take this to Ice House and show them and see if maybe they'd like to have it or something. And I'd also really like to vlog this place because this is where Steve Martin himself, the Steve Martin, says in his book, Born Standing Up, that he got his start doing a lot of his very first comedy in Los Angeles up here at the Ice House, as well as Cheech and Chong. So we're gonna go and we're gonna shoot a night of comedy at the Ice House tonight. Days with Jordan the Lion, taking a drive to Pasadena, begins now. Well, here we are. The nighttime version of the legendary Pasadena Ice House. It's been open since 1960 and it was originally mainly for folk music acts up until 1978 when all of a sudden a few comedians started showing up here they sold the place to some new owners and those people turned it into a full-blown comedy club stand-up now this is actually the very first place that i met joey coco diaz one of my big mentors in life, and I saw him right over here in stage two. But tonight, we're gonna be bouncing back and forth from stage two to stage one, and I'm gonna show you all the legendary comedians that are on the walls of this place that have performed here. David Letterman, you name it, they're probably here. This is stage two. And they're actually gonna do like a podcast night in here, I believe. Once they put that table up, it'll be a podcast night. Now they actually connect room two to room one through this bar, but you can actually kind of go through the outside. I'm just gonna show you around. There you can see the likes of George Lopez on the wall. Craig Shoemaker. Tim Allen is right over here. Lily Tomlin. Now this is pretty crazy. If any of you remember who the unknown comic was, I actually, actually really like the unknown comic. He was in a movie called um, Night Patrol that I love. And there's some comedy greats right there. You can see everybody from Carson to Leno to George Burns, Billy Crystal, Bill Cosby. And the reason this is actually called the Pasadena Ice House is because this was originally the home of the Pasadena Ice Company. Here's one of the biggest and funniest comedians going today, Gabriel Iglesias. Now this is actually the main part of Pasadena Ice House, and I'll show you all those people up on the wall. And right away I recognize a couple of the people that when I started coming around the comedy scene, these were all people that were really nice to me. All of them. Joey Diaz, extremely nice to me. Burt Kreischer, also extremely nice to me. Bill Burr was extremely nice to me. Tony Hinchcliffe, I would definitely consider a friend. I've talked about Ian Edwards numerous times. Tom Segura, Duncan Trussell, all those people extremely nice to me in the time that I've been here. You can also see uh, up there Jimmy Fallon, Jim Carrey, Jim Belushi. There's Bob Fisher, who's one of the uh, owners that took over in 1978. Tim Allen. Now this is incredible, I love this. Right here in the main entrance, they have this. It says, thank you to all the comedians who appear on our stages. You're the reason our customers come here. 
You're the reason we've been here for 55 plus years. You are appreciated, the ice house. That's the way it should be. And then right here is a stone fireplace. And there's Margaret Cho, David Tell, Ed Alonzo, who is actually Max on uh, Saved by the Bell. Russell Peters, I've met him a handful of times. Ellen DeGeneres, Gallagher. So it's a little bit darker in here, but I'm gonna go around and see if I can show you because there's a signed picture up here of George Carlin. And there's a picture of George right there. I know it's a little dark, sorry about that. There's Adam Sandler, uh, Joe Rogan, Arsenio, Seinfeld, Leno, Adam Carolla, Johnny Carson, that Bob Hope here. Now check out this wall, this is great. You've got a Billy Crystal, Steve Martin, Robin Williams, a young George Carlin, um, Bill Maher, Lily Tomlin, Ellen, Gallagher, Diane Keaton, Morris Stahl, Pat Paulson, Rosie O'Donnell, Endless. So here's actually the main showroom. I've seen some great comedy in this room. Joey Coco Diaz, Bill Burr, of course tonight, Sam Tripoli. And there's the famous stage. And this is what the comics see. Are these extra menus? One on R46. I'm using one of my weird camera lights to get these shots because this room is literally completely darked out, guys. So, but I knew there was some art in here I wanted to show you. So, I'm trying to hit it with the best light that I can. No respect. And over here in the corner is Richard Pryor. This is really great, I love this. There's a note here from Gary Shandling, but then right here on the other side, there's a note here from Johnny Carson, and Johnny says, Dear Bob, congratulations on the 30th anniversary at the Ice House. I would also like to thank you for giving new young comedians another place to perform. Best wishes, Johnny Carson. And then this is actually a contract between the Ice House and David Letterman for $250 to be paid for the week of October 31st till November 5th. And there it is, signed by David Letterman and Bob Fisher. Now, this is the path to the bathroom, and this is pretty interesting as well because right here you immediately have a letter from Billy Crystal. And then up here is one from Dana Carvey. And all the comedians who perform here, Polly Shore, David Spade, and Mr. George Wallace, Mr. Vegas. I love George Wallace, he's hilarious. And that's George Wallace right there. Now it's time for me to get to work filming Sam stuff. The calm before the storm. Now this room actually is pretty cool because straight through there, I don't know if it still is, that used to be the room where all the Ice House Chronicles, the podcast that Joe Rogan, Red Band, all those guys would do every, pretty much every night that they were here, they rented that room out constantly and Joe Rogan used to actually run his podcast out of there for a long time. And uh, one of the, kind of weird stories that I have is that one day they were doing their podcast from there. I turned it on in the middle of the afternoon and I was actually finishing up an acting job over here. And I saw that Tommy Chong was the guest. So I uh, ran over to a record store that used to be over here, bought a Cheech and Chong record and came over here and he signed it on his way out. And he was doing the podcast from that room. Pretty cool. Now I guarantee within an hour, this entire place is going to be a madhouse. And 
here above the sign you can actually see a few more notable names. Steve Martin, Tim Allen, George Lopez, Paul Rodriguez, The Association, Carlos Mencia, Howie Mandel, Gary Shandling. There's an old poster from the Ice House. And then check this out. Signed picture from Richard Jenny. And that's the original entrance we walked into. They already asked us to come back. Oh. Uh, we may not do that joke as it's about to be, you know? Hey, there was like... Then you go to a Catholic class, they all drink out of the same cup. Well, my, my, my whole conspiracy started back then because uh, uh, I uh, did, took some bad LSD and uh, it was during winter break and um, I, uh, I, listened, I had a Portis head, uh, her first album on a boombox and me and my friend Kendall were up uh, break dancing to it and uh, and we, I, I, Are you a pop rocker or a pop locker? I don't know what I was doing. I was acting like a monkey. <laughs> okay. And so that was when I realized that there was other dimensions on this plane of existence that we're on. Like, you know, it's powerful. I, I, I knew that. I knew that this was all kind of like just like, like an illusion. Like there was other like dimensions. Like I don't know how else to put it. But um, it was one of the scariest days of my life. The, the illustrations and stuff. <laughs> Because it had like reptilians in it and like alien grays and shit. Yeah, yeah, so he's like, dude, if, if you don't put that away, I'm going to tell mom and dad, we're going to have to check you in, dude. That's a big deal, bro. Right? Right? You're going to That's a big deal. Yeah. So they threatened, he threatened to like actually put me into like a mental facility. Yeah, like a mental facility. So I'm like, oh, I just, I'm not going to bring it up in front of him. No. Yeah. So you don't want to get this. <laughs> This guy, uh, Brendan Walsh. I'm excited. I'm excited. 9 11, anybody talk about 9 11? Again, you didn't see what you think you saw, bitch. <laughs> I mean, the Pizzagate thing is suspicious because it's just like, how do you debunk shit before it even fully comes out? Like, not true, not true! It's like, wait, let me finish my sentence first. <laughs> and that, because what they did was they had him bomb, they gave wrong coordinates, and they ended up bombing 100 Syrian soldiers. The United States did. And after they killed 100 Syrian soldiers, the fucking deal was off, right, with the sharing information. But, and that's exactly what the deep state wanted. What I think they do, dude, is they track who's watching these right. things. And they follow these guys. And that was a big thing. They follow these guys, and they see who is interested in going into office. Right and then there. they start to fast track these guys. Uh, and they watch these that party too. Now the little girl stuck on a popsicle for 45 minutes and now you're gonna run for mayor. We just woke Jimmy Dore, homeboy. <laughs> that is the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. Hey, hey, let me ask you a question now. That, it, why is everyone so corrupt? Why is the media lying? Why is, why is, you're gonna find out why. They're all being black now. The host of the Tim Paul Hat Podcast, my brother from another mother, Mr. Sam! Yeah! Man, Tony Clifton went crazy, huh? She makes, she is what every Instagram model slash internet model dreams of being. Y'all gotta stop watching.
watching porn the other day because of, well, first of all, I found out that Pornhub gives you medals and badges. There's never going to be a real investigation. Right. The story's already official. Yes. Yeah. And there's video, there's a videotape that I watched, uh, videotapes on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Sounds like two different places. Two right? totally different guns. Yeah. Two totally different placements. Well, you're a fucking psycho if you're if buying you, it. If you say that, you're mental.